Have you ever woken up thinking to yourself, life has got to be more than this? I mean, think about it. We wake up every morning, we go to school or work depending on your age, and you give the best time of your life away. You go home, eat, talk to your friends, argue with your family, and go to bed just to wake up six to eight hours later and do the same thing all over again. I really hate looking at myself in the mirror. Is that another blemish? I hate those things. What style should I go for today? Up, down. Am I getting more weight? I think I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm my weight, little sis. I need my weight time. Mike, I was here first. You're just staring at yourself. Besides, I seem to be the only one here who knows how to use one of these. <coughs> Day. Oh, by the way, sis, I'm gonna need you to find another way home today after school. Why? Well, today, me and Mackenzie. Mackenzie and I. Mackenzie and I are celebrating our three month anniversary. Who celebrates that? Look, just because you haven't experienced any love like ours. Ah, yeah, I'm so jealous. I haven't experienced anybody who texts me every 15 minutes just to say, I'm thinking about you. Like, just because you haven't had a relationship since the Bush administration? Not by my choice. Doesn't mean you can stand there and tell me what's kosher or not in a relationship. <laughs> it's not what you think. Oh, really? Really. It says she misses me. That's what I said. No, you said I'm thinking about you. That's different. Whatever. We have to get ready for school. Oh, by the way, is that a white hair? I'm not going to school today. Okay, so why are we walking there? I'm not, seriously. Why? Because I'm sick of dealing with all these people. The teachers, the idiots we share our classroom space with. The jerks who claim to be our friends, smile in our face and stab us in the oh, back. Oh, do you need to go back to bed and wake up again and this time be on the right side? No. Because <laughs> that would mean I would have to go home and I hate it there. Oh, problems? When are there not problems? Mom brought home another boyfriend last night. This is the third guy since she got rid of Derek and she still has not addressed the issues that he left behind. She just doesn't care. The only thing that matters to her is trying to be in love while the rest of us are just obstacles that stand in her way of true happiness. Obstacles? Yeah, you remember when we were supposed to hang out and I had to stay home to watch my little brother and sisters? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mom told me because I had already made plans with you, I was being inconsiderate because I wouldn't watch them while she went on her date. Like I'm the one who had these bad kids. <laughs> they aren't that bad. Oh, yes they are. Last week I had to stop Americanus and Deja from setting Marcus on fire because they heard in Sunday school that God receives burnt offerings. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to daydream anymore. I'm here. <laughs> what are you doing? Get off me. The real question is, what are you doing, man? Laying on your back, staring into space, getting ready for your next flight mission? Sometimes you just need to take a moment and smell the flowers. Those flowers happen to be daisies. Come on, you know what I mean. Life is crazy. You just need to enjoy it. We'll get this. I got three tickets for the Lakers game tonight. I'm talking courtside, right. sitting in between Jack Nicholson and Carmen Electra. Oh. You down? <laughs> you know I am. Who are they playing? What's the matter who they're playing against? We're going to be rubbing shoulders with A-listers. You'll be able to hear Mike D'Antoni yelling at the refs. If you're lucky, Kobe Bryant will fall on your lap. It's going to be a great experience. Who cares who they're playing against? So who's the third ticket for? Speak of the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Travolta. Thank you, one. Thank you all. Please stop. His head is already extremely big enough as it is. We already almost got in two car accidents on the way here because he was too busy looking at himself in the rearview mirror. Not even close. Besides, it's my magnetic good looks. I'm drawn to myself. Drawn like flies. All right, forget all that. Listen, I got three tickets, courtside, Lakers, tonight. What do you say? Aw, oh, forget it, you two. He's all mine tonight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Besides, it's our three month anniversary. Three months? Who celebrates that? I know, right? <laughs> what, do you two share the same brain or something? Yeah. In this world we live in, you have to take every opportunity to celebrate the little things. And 
even a three-month anniversary. That's an oxymoron, though, because, you know, anniversary means annual celebration is in yearly. You're, you're an oxymoron. Ooh, burn me again, Mike. You're on a roll today. Thanks. Gosh. So, does this mean you can't go? Sorry, boys. He's unavailable. He'll just have to hang out with you guys next week. Dude, what happened to dogs before broads? Well, tonight, it's love before thugs. Who says that? We're not even thugs. <laughs> Honey, I need to talk to you about something. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hey, why don't you take Piper? She likes basketball. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay. Hey, who are they playing? Come on. Hey, I'm so excited about our date tonight. I got the cutest outfit and I can't wait for you to see me in it. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> and, uh, not to mention, my parents are going to be gone this whole weekend, so we have the place all to ourselves. <laughs> uh, that, that's great. Wait, what's the matter? Nothing. It's just, I thought we were going to dinner or a movie or something. Not just you and me alone at your house. Oh, do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. Okay, I'll talk to you later, love. Okay. Excuse me? Yes? Your name's Mackenzie, right? Was that a lucky guess, or do you really know me? Well, my name's Janice. <laughs> I went to your youth group last night. Um, I just thought I'd introduce myself and say hey. Well, hi. <laughs> well, wasn't youth awesome last night? I, I wouldn't know. I've never been before yesterday. As a matter of fact, I've never been to church before yesterday. Um, I was just really curious, and I don't know. I, I just thought maybe if you had time we oh sure i have a lot of time you do yeah every thursday night we have drama practice at the youth group and i get there a little early just to hang out and stuff if you would like to meet ben i'd love to talk with you about anything you're going through oh. okay sorry would you excuse me today is my boyfriend and my three month anniversary and i have a lot to do so i'll catch up with you later okay bye forget it Mackenzie lives in a different world when she's at school. We're literally alien to her until Tuesday and Thursday nights. <laughs> That's nice. I hate it at that church. They're all just a bunch of hypocrites. Hypocrites? Yeah. I mean, they go to church and they sing all the songs and they act all holy and stuff. And then when they get back to school, they just do whatever they want. That seems like a personal problem. <laughs> what do you mean? So what if they do their own thing at school? What does it matter to you? I didn't go to that youth group last night to compare lives. If I did that, then... I'd be no better than the people that you're talking about. I didn't go to that group to compare lives and be a part of your posse. Then why did you go? For answers. I don't know how you were able to talk me into not going to school today. My parents will kill me. Don't worry about it. I got a hold on my guy in the administration office. Trust me, Still, we're covered. If anybody sees us, who's gonna see us? Our parents are at work, friends are at school. Stop being so nervous. Okay, I guess you're right. What are we doing after this? Hmm, mall or a movie? Hmm, hey, I'm think. Oh, hi, Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Hi. I thought I saw you too. That's funny, it's just random how we ran into each other. Middle of the day. <laughs> I thought nobody would see us today. You're kidding. You both know everybody comes here. <laughs> what up, Jazz? Hey, Al. You look good. You losing weight? Nah, just trying out some new looks. You know, time for a change. So you guys doing anything this weekend? No. Well, my group has a show coming up, and we need some people to come out and support us. Sure, we'll be there, won't we? We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. I see how much has changed with you. <laughs> She's just being complicated. You know how she gets. She'll be there. Hey, what are you doing right now? Nothing. You want to take us to the mall? Yeah, let's go. Great, let me refill my drink. You look good, Erica. You do too. I miss you. Don't really respond to my text messages. I've been busy. I'm not ignoring you. Seems like it. But I'm not. Look, I wish things were different between us. I just, I don't know. You don't I, know what? This I, idiot behind the counter tried charging me 50 cents for a refill. Since when did this place get free refills? 
that you don't get free refill. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't mean what I said about your sad, meaningless life. All right, let's go. Yeah. Wait, hey, hey. Look, I, I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot this morning. Allow me a chance to start over? No, come on, don't you believe in giving people a second chance? This will actually be your third chance. Third? Yeah, yesterday at church, that was your first. Today before school, that was your second. This is your third. So, I have a chance then. If the chance is to be friends, then yes. Anything other than that, no. Come on, give me one good reason why. Look, I'm not looking for any kind of relationship right now. I went to church yesterday because I seriously needed help and you were in the back being a jerk, making noises and cracking jokes and that's just not what I need right now. Then what do you need? I told you, I need answers. Okay, well, ask the question. No. Why? Because I need something real. I, I have problems and I don't want to tell you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let me ask you a question. You asked me earlier why I went to church. However, you go and you make a joke about it. So, why do you go? Well, uh, my dad's the pastor, so he makes me go. Your dad is the pastor. Yep. And being the son of a pastor, I know all the answers to the questions you might be facing. So, tell me, what's going on with you? I'll tell you what you can help me with. Have your dad call me. Uh, you can say what you want. I'm the cause and the effect for the cause of my effect. Uh, your boy's next with a perplex step by step. I did it on my purpose, grinding on purpose, riding on purpose, riding on purpose. Uh, and when I rise and shine, it's on purpose. Uh, no matter where you find me on purpose, grinding on purpose, riding on purpose, shining on purpose. Uh, only the losers, they believe in luck. And only abusers, they want to keep in touch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, what's up, girl? Don't. I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Jess. <laughs> Look, Erica. I know we broke up and everything, but I gotta say, can't stop thinking about you. We were great together, you gotta admit. <laughs> we were great together. Okay, then. Let's give it another try. I told you. It's complicated. You keep saying that, but you never explain what complicated means. Explain. I can't. I, I don't really understand what you see in me. Really? I think you're amazing. You're perfect. Perfect? Yeah. You're perfect for me. You've been saying that for so long. You're the first boyfriend I've ever had. How do I know there's not anyone out there better for me? I don't know how to answer that. All I know is that ever since the first time I saw you, I couldn't get you out of my mind. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't know what to say to that. Say you'll spend time with me after our show this weekend. Maybe. There goes that maybe. What's wrong with maybe? We both know when you say maybe, it means no. And when you say yes, it means maybe. I probably will go. Probably is worse than maybe. Say yes. Okay, yes. And when you say yes, you mean? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> See 
honey. I make a great housewife. Can't you just imagine me making you dinner after a long day of work? Wouldn't that be nice? That would be great. Eat your food, it's made with love. Looks good. Um, what is it? Just a little something I put together. Sweet and sour chicken with my own special ingredient. Pineapple! Oh. Um, isn't that pretty standard in sweet and sour chicken? No. I made it up all by myself. Oh. But looks good. Really good. Oh, wait. We need music. I love this song. To us, an amazing three months and for a fantastic future. Again? Oh, they're in Vegas for the weekend. You know their monthly ritual. Oh, don't worry, babe. No one's gonna be here to interrupt us. We have the whole night to ourselves. That's great. So, do you like it? It's good. I knew you'd like it. Want some more cider? Yes, thank you. You like my dress? It's nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so, um, what else do you have planned for tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, it was at that moment that Dean and I realized that we were not gangster rappers. Oh my gosh, you guys are oh crazy. Oh, how do we get in these situations? Oh, that would be my crazy friend. Yeah, but, but sometimes I come through, though. Like, tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> tonight? Yeah. Dude, you said we would be rubbing shoulders with Jack Nicholson and Carmen Electra. You forgot to tell us the part where we would be a hundred rows behind them. <laughs> we were up there with Jesus. <laughs> then Tony was this big. Wait, I think he was, like, this big. <laughs> he was this big. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even play. Oh, what did you expect for 20 bucks a seat? No, brother. What did you expect for $20? <laughs> Whatever. I had a good time. Yeah, man, me too. Good time tonight. That's what I like to hear. That my friends had a good time. Hey, man, I gotta run by the store and get some stuff for my brother's birthday this weekend. Uh, can you take Piper home? Sure, not a problem. All right, thanks. I gotta get going then. I will see you people later. See you. Later, man. Bye. Bye. You guys are crazy. I should hang out with you more often. <laughs> yeah, you should. I don't see why not. I don't know, you guys are my brother's best friends. It would just be weird. <laughs> well, don't tell him I told you this, but we all think you're cooler than him anyways. <laughs> so, why don't you hang with the girls from youth? Girls from youth are too busy chasing the boys from youth. It's, it's just not me, you know? I just hang out. Hmm. I don't know. I don't take myself too seriously. Yeah, I get it. Besides, I feel like life is just so much easier when you take the crazies out of it. You don't even date, do you? Overrated. High school guys are just dumb and college guys are horn dogs. <laughs> I just, I, I would much rather go to the game or listen to music or just hang out with cool friends than doing that. Hmm. Kind of like tonight? Exactly like tonight. So that means that you don't have a date to the dance. There's no dance coming up. Yeah, I'm talking about spring fling. That's not for months. That's nothing. <laughs> you have to stay prepared. Otherwise, you'll be sitting all alone while all of your friends are just dancing the night away. Okay, so no, I don't have a date for that yet. I guess I'll have to get on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> So then, you'll be going with Miranda then, right? Or, like, no, that didn't last. I'm a better friend than a boyfriend.
I'll tell you what. If in a few months, if you or I don't have a date to the dance, we should go together. Yeah, I can do that. Cool. <sighs> what a booger. He didn't leave money for his bill. Oh. <sighs> do you even have any extra cash? I bought sodas at the game. I paid for parking. You okay? I'm fine. It's just... Just what? I feel weird. Why? Because it's just you and me here alone. And your parents aren't here. I feel like we're moving real fast, don't you? Mike, we've been together three months now. I think we're doing just fine. I don't know. Mike, I've never felt this way about a guy before. <laughs> I just want to show you how special I think you are. <laughs> Gosh, this is weird. <laughs> Usually, I'm the one telling the guy to slow down. <laughs> I love you. It's Piper. Hello? <laughs> Wait, what? That's Dean for you. <laughs> Where are you? Pine Haven Cafe? All right, I'm on my way. Is everything okay? Yeah, I have to go. <laughs> Let's make it up this weekend, okay? Do dinner and a movie, okay? Okay, my brother's on his way. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sorry about this. No biggie, it's okay. I always like to think that God allows things to happen for a reason. Really? Yeah. I mean, you never know what would happen if everything always went as planned. It's the perfect time for something unplanned to happen. You kind of lost me. What's the reason for this? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that Everything happens for a reason, and those reasons always seem to be better than we want or expect. Hmm. Call me an extreme optimist. Okay, you're an extreme optimist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe, hey, she was at church yesterday.